Well, we've had a lovely time wandering around at the Oslo Folk Museum, but now we're on to see something really important. You remember at the very end of the ride, Maelstrom, in Disney's Epcot Center, they have a short film entitled Spirit of Norway. Do you remember a young man who reaches his hand out and touches the side of a Viking ship? That's the Oseberg ship, and it's in the Viking Ship Museum where we're going now. So I finally get to see in person that famous boat, and I'm really excited about it because I'm a colossal nerd. There it is. The Lissabark ship. Unbelievable. Just to stand in its presence. I know it's totally normal for you. You've probably seen it a hundred times before, but the thing just amazes me. So they steered with the, the huge paddles on the back. It is kind of funny, like, you're kind of vying for position with everybody else and trying not to get in the way of their stuff. Oh, can you a picture of that? Is this the uh, Gukstad yep. ship? And this was all... This is what people in Sandford were up to back in the day. And this was all buried underground? Yeah. In the grave of uh, the grave mound, yeah. That's just so incredible to me. So, Gukstad is near Sandefjord? Or in Sandefjord? It's in Sandefjord, it's in the city. Mm -hmm. of course. This was a man inside. Uh, Osberg was a lady. Yeah, the Osberg was... That's kind of rare, isn't it? To feel like a Viking queen? Like... You know, you have the Oslo, Oslo and then you have the Westfall where... I'm from, and then you have Estoril on the east side of the fjord. I think this is from Estoril. Okay. Do they know why it's in such rougher shape? Uh, I think it explains it somewhere, but... Um... Yeah, they said that in the, bo the little book I was reading, they said that this one needed extensive reconstruction, that they that it's, it's being held together with a lot of like little pins and things. I forget why it was in such bad shape to begin with. Okay, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That it was important. 
for uh, poor conditions for the reserve. No. So I'm guessing that some of the, the other boats maybe have been buried in a better kind of earth. Or, yeah. Like more like peat moss or something that preserves them. Yeah, clay. Clay is pretty good, I think. Mm. This was found with one of the boats? Yes indeed, it's from, I think it's from the Osberg uh, ship. Said that it, they have a lot of equipment for them. Fifteen horses. There's the thing from the movie, from Ragnarok. Did you notice how the other three are all just wood, but this one looks like it's gilt with some sort of metal? What do you suppose the deal is with that? It's also quite cool that they had a slab. Yeah. Just kind of waiting until it cleared out a little bit to see it. carvings of, of animals and stuff are like, they're all pretty nasty looking. Scare, scare away uh, evil spirits, I guess. You think so? That's what they're for in other cultures. Makes sense. I'm standing and looking at what I'm standing and looking at. Think about how many hours went into carving all of those little details. They were probably playing hands of their own. Yeah. Extra shoes for the afterlife. new friends the birds and they they really like they really like bits of ice cream cone come on up here oh good catch wants <laughs> <laughs> oh, a piece oh good 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 He landed on my hand. He landed on my hand. <laughs>